Hi friends. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show um, one uh, real-time example or real-time problems. Uh, we had a requirement when that uh, user selects a bar chart, it shows a bar chart. If the user selects a cross tab, it shows a cross tab. So I'm going to show how to do that in real time. So first, you create a bar chart and you create as a cross tab chart. How it's look like this? Create it. Once you create the bar chart, everything. So one second, I don't remove it. Will be complex one. So this is a bar chart, and this is a cross tab chart. And this is I created one parameter with this option name and the string data type. And um, I'm just mentioning so list, and I given bar chart and cross tab two charts name. What are the charts name I had? I given the chart name. I given okay. Next, I created one calculated field. Okay, in the calculate field, this is short option like the name of the calculate. In that, I just used that filter name. It's nothing but parameter name I used here. I given okay. Then we have to drag that to filter and click as a custom value list and give the your current sheet name, whether it's a bar chart or whatever chart, and give the name of the chart. Okay, and click the plus symbol. Okay, and how many sheets you have? Same thing you have to do here. Also, I have done same thing. See here, edit filter, custom value list. I mentioned here as a cross tab chart, so that's why I have given as a cross tab chart. So how many filters, how many sheets you have, you should give that names. Once you given that, you go to dashboard and you mention, I drag the both uh, uh, charts, and I'm just mentioned first one as a title and second one as a see sorry tiled and second one is a floating and I overlap that one. See now if I select as a bar chart, it's showing as a bar chart. If I select it, Cross tab, it's showing us a cross tab. This is the easiest way we can do that. Um, we can change that uh, charts dynamically as per the user selection. And thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt, please uh, post in comments. I will try to resolve that issues.